Hey folks, as we step into the new year, it's not just the calendar that is evolving, the technology world is also buzzing with the changes. And guess what? Microsoft Azure certification exams are no different. They are undergoing a lot of changes in 2024. And in the previous video, we focused on all the upcoming changes in fundamental series like AZ900, DP900, AI900 or SC900. However, in this video, we are going to focus on all the upcoming changes in intermediate and expert level exams. But friends, before we move ahead, I just want to mention here that I am taking in this video most popular exams, but the same strategy or same documentation that I will share with you, you can surely use the same documentation to find all the upcoming changes in all intermediate and expert expert level exams. And yes my friends, in the later part of the video, we will discuss a very important question. Should you reschedule your already scheduled exam? Do you need more preparations? Do you want to extend your learning materials? Or do you need to take some extra courses in order to accommodate all these changes? All these burning questions that are popping in your head will be answered in this video. And by the end of the video, if you like the content, then please, please press the like button. So now, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So let's begin with AZ104 which is Microsoft Azure Administrator, one of the most or should I say the most sought after certification on the intermediate level. So here you can see Microsoft AZ104 is already undergone the changes. It is not going to change now recently in the 2024. But I just want you to bring this because this is one of the most popular certification. So you must know in case you are preparing for it or eyeing on it, you must know that the syllabus has recently changed on 26th of October 2023. And once again, I want to say do not mix up. This is not changing in 2024. It has already changed. But because of the fact this is very popular, I kept this certification in this video as well. Now let's head on to the next certification which is AI102 and once again a very popular certification because these days artificial intelligence is a in thing and in this certification you will understand everything about the REST APIs, the SDKs to build the secure image processing, video processing, natural language processing, knowledge mining and generative AI solution on Microsoft Azure. And do I need to tell that OpenAI and Microsoft are going hand in hand? So the chat GPT that you have been using for quite some time is kind of really connected to the Microsoft landscape. So in Microsoft Azure as well, you can find OpenAI services. So really important certification in these days where OpenAI, chat GPT, generative AI is everywhere. And when are the changes coming up? Well, the changes are coming up on 7th February 2024. Now let's understand what are the changes. To begin with my friends, I will show you all the changes that are coming up. I will show you the Microsoft documentation so that you yourself can find out and track all the changes for all the certification. Hey, you can see that we are talking about AI102. So AI102, we have already seen the exam description. What are the languages this exam is available? You can find that here. You can also find what is the cost of this exam, which is given in USD. Of course, it depends on the country where you are living. And not only that, on this very documentation, you can also find ways to schedule the exam. How can you prepare for the exams? What are the skills measured? So here you can see that you have two modes of preparation. You have self-paced mode and instructor-led mode. I always go for the self-paced mode. So in this mode, you will get to know all about the certification. You will get all the course content, everything that you need to know to pass any of these certification. Here you can see I have already completed almost all the modules. And always my friends, whenever you are in any certification, always click on this C mode to find out all the modules that that exam has. So as I said, I have completed already all the modules for AI102. And now let's come back to the main objective of this video and find out all the changes coming up in AI102 and other certifications. So here you can see on this documentation, you will find a section which is called change lock. In this section, you will find all the changes that are coming up in the respective certification. To start with, we can see that we have February 7th, the date on which the changes are coming up and here you can see that we do not have any changes in the audience profile which says no change here. So here in this table you can compare all the changes, the changes which are prior to the 7th of February and the changes or the latest labels which is as of 7th of February 2024. So here you can see we do not have change here, here, here and then we can find one change which is a major change that comes under the section create decision support solution for data monitoring and anomaly detection. And this section has now been changed and now it is called create decision support solution for data monitoring and content delivery. So this is the first change that is coming in AI102. 
And then you can see the section, the very next section, which is called create decision support solution for content delivery. This section is now removed and that is quite understandable because this section is now fused into the first section that we just saw. So this is a major change. And what are the other changes? Let's find out. We do not have any change here, here, till here. We do not have any change. So let me scroll a little bit more so I cannot see any other change other than these two changes. Now friends on this same documentation if I go to the top once again I want to show you two very important links that you can use to side by side compare all the changes in old versus new. So here you can see that we have this very first link this will be common of course the dates will change but this link is common for all the certification undergoing the change. Here you can see first of all we are given with the skills measured that are latest and then you are also given with the prior syllabus so here you can compare and open so here let me do one thing I will open both these windows side by side and now here you can see old versus new so this one on the left hand side is the old syllabus and this is on the right hand side is the newer syllabus and friends as I always said I said this in the last video as well that whenever you are comparing any section the first thing that you need to do is that just compare the weightage of the section so here you can see that we have 10 to 15 percent in the older syllabus and the same is also kept in the newer syllabus. And this is very important and crucial from the exam point of view because this weightage this actually tells you that what is the percentage of the questions that you should expect from this section in the real exam. Let's compare the differences here we can see the section or the subsection named as a decision support solution for data monitoring and anomaly detection which is now changed to create decision support solution for data monitoring and content delivery. And here you can observe some changes. First of all, in the older syllabus, we are given with implement a universe anomaly detection solution. So here you can see in the older syllabus, we are given with implement a univariate anomaly detection solution with Azure AI anomaly detector. And here it changes to implement a data monitoring solution with Azure AI matrix advisor. And similarly, you can find the differences in the other two points as well. And then my friends as we saw in the change log you can see that this section is now being removed and that really makes sense because here you can see that the content of this section is now merged into this earlier section. And those were the couple of changes coming up in AI 102. Now let's head on to the AZ204. And now my friends before we dive into the AZ204 a quick reminder to you that we at the Tech Blackboard channel we have an entire series on many of these fundamental exams and intermediate exams. For example, we have series on AZ-900, DP-900, AI-900 and besides these popular series on the fundamental exams, we also have super successful series on AZ-104 and DP-203. And in these series, you will find all the exam like questions, validated answers with Microsoft documentation, exam tips and not just that my friends, you will also understand all the Azure concepts that will not only help you to pass the exams with flying colors but will also help you grasp the Azure concept in a way that you can professionally work on Microsoft Azure. Links to all the series are given in the description box. Now let's head on to the AZ204. An AZ204 is for the candidates who look forward for developing solution for Microsoft Azure. So basically in case you want to have the developer profile then you should go for this exam. And here you will understand and become proficient in the concepts like SDK, data storage options, data connections, APIs, app authentication and authorization compute and container deployment and debugging. So really a deep certification and when are the changes coming up? Well it is like AZ104 it has already been changed but I just wanted to introduce you to this certification a really important certification for anyone who wants to be a developer in Microsoft Azure. And friends the next certification that I have for you is AZ305 which is designing Microsoft Azure infrastructure solution and in this certification there are not many changes only the audience profile is getting changed. So let me head on to the change log so here we can find the change log let me click on this one change log and here you can see that we have only one change and that comes in the audience profile and that too is a very minor change and other than this change you cannot find any other change so very minor or very cosmetic change in AZ305 nothing to worry carry on with your preparations and whatever course that you're doing carry on with that you do not have to add anything in your preparations and next on the list is exam SC100 which is Microsoft Cyber Security Architect and you can see that in this exam the changes are coming up on 23rd January 2024 so now let's understand the changes for that I will click on the change log and here you can see to start with we do not 
not have any change in the audience profile then where are the changes changes are here in this section which is design solution that aligns with the microsoft cloud adoption framework for Azure and the Microsoft Azure well architected framework and here you can see that we have some minor changes then we have changes in this section which is design solution for identity and access management once again minor change then we have design solution for securing privileged access which is also a minor change and then moving on we have one more change coming up in this section which is design solution for security posture management in hybrid and multi-cloud environment here also you can observe that we have minor change only and the last solution that is coming up in sc100 is this one with design solution for securing microsoft 365 here also once again it's a minor change and now comparing the changes side by side no changes in the audience profile so this is the first section that is undergoing the change and to be honest my friends at the first glance i could not find any difference between the old and the new syllabus and then looking at this very deeply i could find one very small difference and that is this one so here you can see it says microsoft cloud adoption framework CAF and the microsoft azure well architected framework on the other hand in the newer syllabus it says microsoft cloud adoption framework for azure and microsoft azure well architected framework and i'm sure that you're still not able to find out the difference and that is just addition of this single word and i'm not really sure whether it should be counted as a difference or not but yes this is what it is and then we have this section here which is design security operations identity and compliance capabilities in the old syllabus which is exactly the same in the newer syllabus as well the weightage is also the same the only subtle changes that are coming are is in this section which is design solution for identity and access management and i challenge you my friends if you can really find out the difference in this section and after spending five painstaking minutes in this section i could find only difference is in this word here which is decentralized earlier it was capitalized and now it is not capitalized that's the only difference if you really want to call it a difference anyways and frankly i think microsoft should not actually flag these changes as changes do you really think all these small and trivial changes should be anyways flagged in the change log? Well, I don't think so, but let me know what do you think. And similarly, my friends, you can compare all the changes that are coming up in SC100. Now, let me head on to the SC200 where we have one major change. So here I am on the SC200, which is Microsoft Security Operational Analyst. And here you can see that the changes are coming up on 23rd of January 2024. And here you can see the old versus new syllabus. So let's directly jump to the section which is undergoing the change and that section is this one which is investigate threats by using audit features in microsoft 365 defender and microsoft purview and here you can see in the older syllabus we just have two pointers here which is perform threat hunting by using unified audit logs and we have performed threat hunting by using content search and in the newer syllabus you can see along with these two pointers we have addition and two new points have been added which are use the guided hunting mode in microsoft 365 defender and then we have use advanced hunting mode in microsoft 365 defender so this is the major change that is coming in sc200 and friends just a quick reminder as always all the documentation that i have referred in this video all the links are shared in the description box and now my friends in this last part of the video let's discuss the very important question should you extend the dates of your already scheduled exam and whether do you need more courses or more learning time to accommodate all these changes that we just discussed see as i see these changes in the exams such as az204 az305 or sc100 the changes are minor they are just cosmetic and nothing substantial so i don't see any compelling reason for you to change your exam dates or change your learning strategy or look for any additional exam preparation material but on the other hand in the exams like ai 102 or sc 200 where the changes are major it really makes some sense to take some more time and extend your learning and practice period so friends in case your exam is scheduled a little ahead and you have time you are covered but in case your exam is really around the corner then i will strongly recommend you to reschedule your exam postpone a little and please remember very importantly that you can only reschedule the exam 24 hours before your exam date and time and in case you really want to understand how to reschedule any microsoft azure exam please watch this video 
and this video will give you all the details about rescheduling the exams so finally my friends in case this video has given you any value please subscribe to the channel press that bell icon so that you are not missing any of the important notifications and also like and share our videos with your family friends and colleagues and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching